Hi, my name is Ron. And I'm LaShawn. Welcome back to the three minute marriage moment. We got a good question and guess where we at? Hawaii. Hawaii. Aloha. Aloha cousin. Yes. And our question is, sweetie? We had a question from one of our viewers and it says, Hi, I have a question. I caught my husband in a lie and I am not sure what to say to him. Should I let him hang himself or should I confront him? Mm, that's and, a very good question. Oh, I forgot. And I have evidence that he lied. Whew, that's a good one. But you know what? I, my personal opinion, I think she needs to tell him. And the reason being is, is that you don't want it to go on too long because if you do let it go on too long, then what happened, he'll continue to keep lying one after another after another. You know, because the Bible does say to restore one to such a faith, you know, like, I mean, especially if they lie. And if they get caught in that lie, I mean, if it was me, I hope and pray that you would tell me. Oh, absolutely. I don't believe setting people up for failure already. It's like parents asking their kids, did they tell the truth and you already know right. <laughs> that they lie. And the purpose of um, confrontation is to gain your brother or your husband back and not to set them up for failure. Just let them know, look, honey, I found out you lied and I'm really, really disappointed. I didn't expect you know something like that from you. Yeah, for the Bible says, for love covers a multitude of sin. So you definitely want to approach this, you know, in a loving manner. You don't want to come hard, but you have to do it in love. And the reason why is that when you come in love, it's much more easier to receive. You know, maybe take them to dinner or sit them down somewhere or say like, you know, honey, we need to talk. You know, it's good to start off a conversation like that because right. to come right off saying, you a liar. And I know this now. Right. Now nah, that wouldn't be right. And remember a couple weeks ago we talked about the grace card. Yeah. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And it's important that we understand that none of us are perfect and we all have our faults. And a lie is not bigger than stealing. Stealing or, you know, cursing or something like that. So, you know, you want to be honest, but you want to come in love. Have you ever lied to me? Yeah, I have lied. You know, but it wasn't because I did it on purpose. And it was a couple of times where I knew, but the Holy Spirit did convict me of it. Mm -hmm. So that's why, you know, I mean, the circumstance there was no excuse for it. Mm -hmm. But there's been a couple of times you have confronted me on it. Right. And when nothing was extreme or anything like that. <laughs> yeah, and you know, something, why would you lie though? Why, why, do, why do spouses lie to one another? Well, one reason why, fear. Fear of someone else's response. Yep. fear that you will disagree there are many reasons for it but there's nothing biblically sound for lying right yep. that's true that's true but again thank you so much for your question yes. and we hope this is a real good answer for you just remember to um, contact us at www.songsofsolomonri.com or hit us up on facebook at songs of solomon relationship institute and once again from honolulu hawaii Aloha. Aloha. Peace. Peace. Love you.